Hello, I'm Miranda Sawyer. This is my book, Out of Time, Midlife If You Still Think You're Young. It's a book, I suppose, well it is, about midlife crisis, but it's about a different form of midlife crisis than the cliché, so I don't get into a fast car and run off with a Pilates teacher or go to Thailand and discover myself. Instead, I have a massive panic in the middle of my 40s and wonder what I've done with my life and what I should be doing with my uh, life to come which I think is quite a common state for people in their 40s, and that is why I wrote a book about it. And this is about getting trolleyed. I sometimes think that the biggest change between my youth and my middle age isn't having kids or getting married or needing more sleep or worrying about gardens or any of that. It's that I don't get wasted anymore. I've pulled out of that habit. Because back then, we were all united when it came to booze and drugs, all up for a good time, all on the same trip. We were open-minded, we got messy, but by our standards, we weren't completely ruined. We had codes around our drinking and drug taking, subtleties of behavior that seem ludicrous to me now. Heroin was disliked, but smoking it was just about acceptable. Injecting it was not. Using needles for any drug was grim. Cocaine in a joint was okay. Crack was disapproved of, though people tried it. Weed, ecstasy, speed, coke, acid, poppers, mushrooms, DMT and ketamine were all fine. Nicotine, of course, and all forms of alcohol, including absinthe and vodka bongs. We were excited by drugs in our 20s. We were excited by everything that didn't bore us. Weed was standard, a constant bonding experience. Mushrooms were hilarious. Look at the funny clouds. Keep looking for eight hours. Speed meant you could paint your room really quickly. And ecstasy was a breakthrough a gateway to a new way of living and being. It was communal, loving, exhilarating. It was easy. No banging needles, no chopping lines, no rolling joints. We felt as though the world made sense, as though people would come over to our new way of being. But someone will always go harder and darker. Crack and heroin arrive suddenly, overnight it seems, and once those are in your orbit, everything changes. Even in our 20s, people started falling through the loops. Friends would alter. They became belligerent, incoherent, a pain in the neck. Their eyes went strange. The person you knew was no longer in there, no matter where or when you saw them. You realised that you never saw them straight. They would disappear. You'd think, what happened? And somebody would say, they were sectioned after staying up for five days. They left London because they'd been kicked out of their flat, or they owed money to the wrong people, or they robbed their girlfriend. They hanged themselves. They took an overdose. They had a car crash. They choked on their own vomit. And those of us who made it? Are we kidding ourselves as to how strong we are, how experienced? I stopped smoking weed when it wasn't a laugh, when the conversation train seemed to leave without me and I wasn't convinced that I'd made it to the station, let alone got in the same carriage. I stopped taking stimulants because the fun bit got small and instead I'd zoom instantly to irritation and paranoia. I stopped because the fear started arriving, not the next day, not even during the night, but while I was actually supposedly having a good time, that wasn't the rush I wanted. Madness is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Your reaction to drink and drugs changes as you age. Getting wasted when you're 25 is completely different from when you're 45, especially the aftermath. The hangovers arrive like a hostile alien invasion. They swarm you, you cannot fight. You're pinned down, poisoned from head to heart to soul. A lot of 50th birthday parties seem to get very messy. We like to say that the drugs have got stronger, which is true, but also we are weaker. 